Hello everyone. Welcome to the demo of Monstock Doctor Appointment Booking application. So here you can see this is the entry point of our application registration page. So here first you have to give your name, email and password and you have to register. Even if you are a doctor or a normal user you have to register in this screen only. So now first I will show you the database. Here you can see this is my MongoDB database and this is my project Shea Healthy Udemy. So right now I have only one user that is admin in the users collection. So the doctors is empty as well as the appointments is empty. So now we are going to do everything from the scratch. So now first I will create a new user in the application. So the name I am going to give is Satya. Email is Satya Prakash 195 at gmail.com password I am going to write one two three four five six seven eight now I am going to click on the register here you can see user created successfully I got the message and I have been navigated to the login page now I can log in with the credentials which I have used for the registration so I am going to log in with my same credentials one two three four five six seven eight login here you can see this is the dashboard of the logged in user interface. So at the top you will be having the header. In the header left side you will be having this cross icon which is used to collapse and expand the navbar. And at the right side you will be having the notification as well as the logged in user name. So this is the notifications and here you can see this is the project logo and bottom of the project logo you will be having the role. So in this application we will be having three different roles for the user. The first one will be normal user, second one will be doctor and the third one will be admin. So right now we have not applied for the doctor. So that's the reason the role of the user will be normal user. Now here in this home page we don't have any doctors that's the reason it is empty. If I go to appointments also the appointments is empty. Now I am going to apply the doctor account from this profile Satya. Suppose I am a doctor I want to apply the doctor account in this application. So the admin will check my details and if he call me and if he email me if he want any credentials. So then he will confirm or reject my doctor account. Now I am going to put my credentials in this. So my first name is Satya. Last name is Reddy. Double nine eight nine six four nine two seven eight is my phone number. Website satya.com so the first section is about the personal information of the doctor so address Hyderabad India then we will be having the second section which is completely professional specialization cardiology experience 8 years fee per consultation 520 timings so my work hours are from 8 to 16 submit here you can see doctor account applied successfully now I will log out from this session I will log in with the admin credentials. So whenever a user applies for the doctor account, the admin will receive a notification from that user like a user has been applied for the doctor account. Please check this profile and confirm whether it is acceptable or not. Now I am going to log in with admin credentials. shadmin at gmail.com password will be same. Login. Here you can see when I refresh, I will get the admin profile. So now in the admin we will be having home, users list, doctors list, profile and logout. So we need not to worry about the profile and logout. Let's go to the doctors. So if you observe the top header, I got the notification one. That means there is one notification for the admin. If I click on this notification, I will be navigating to the notification screen. Here you can see I got the notifications. We will be having two tabs, unseen, seen. So we can make it seen by clicking on this mark all as seen. So I got a notification like Satya Reddy has applied for the doctor account. So if I click on this, it will be taken to the doctors list. Here you can see the doctors list got highlighted in the menu. So in this doctors list, I can approve or reject the doctor account. So I got the doctor account request from name Satya Reddy, phone number, created it, status is pending. So until unless the status is pending, user cannot see this doctor in the 
होम पेज वंस द स्टेटस इज अप्रूव ए यूजर्स कैन बुक हिज डॉक्टर अपॉइंटमेंट ऑल दोज थिंग्स सो इफ आई गो टू द होम देर इज नथिंग हियर बिकॉज देर इज नो अप्रूव डॉक्टर्स इन द एप्लीकेशन नाउ आई विल गो टू द डॉक्टर्स एंड आई विल अप्रूव दिस डॉक्टर इन टू अवर एप्लीकेशन अप्रूव हियर यू कैन सी डॉक्टर स्टेटस अपडेटेड सक्सेसफुली इफ आई गो टू होम आई गॉट द डॉक्टर सो ए यूजर कैन बुक दिस सत्या रेड्डी अपॉइंटमेंट नाउ नाउ आई विल गो टू द नोटिफिकेशंस I will click on this mark all as seen. I want to delete this notification, so I will go to the seen notification. I can click on this delete all. Now admin has approved the Satya's doctor request. Now Satya will also receive a notification like your doctor account has been approved. Log out, refresh. Now I will log in with the Satya credentials. so the expected scenario now is satya has to receive a notification like doctor account has been approved 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 login here you can see satya got the notification your doctor account has been approved so the notifications functionality is working as expected now i am going to click on this mark all as seen in the seen i am going to click on the delete all so now a doctor can check his all appointments in these appointments right now the satya has not got any appointments now i am going to create a new normal user where that user will book the appointment of the satya so i am going to log out and the doctor can also update his profile here you can see this is profile so in this he will be having all the credentials and details first name last name email password all those things so if you want to update the work hours or timings he can update if you want to update the fee per consultation all those things so now i want to update my fee per consultation amount instead of 520 i will make it 650 submit here you can see in the home page fee per visit got updated i want to update the work hours also i'll go to the profile timings instead of 8 i want to start at 9 9 to 16 submit here you can see the timings got updated successfully in the home page now i will log out so by this we have completed the two roles admin role and doctor role now i will create a normal user where a user can book the doctor appointment i'll go to registration the name will be john email will be john195 at gmail dot com password will be 1234567 register now i will log in with the john credentials john195 at gmail dot com password 1234567 log in here you can see if when i refresh the page there is some cache issue in my chrome so leave it about that here you can see i got the profile john and uh, sh is user because john is having only user permission so he got the user now john will book the satya appointment whenever the appointment is booked satya will receive a notification like john has booked your appointment please approve or reject so this is user appointments so user appointments is also empty now because the john has not booked any appointments now i will go to the home click on the doctor so this is the booking screen so this is the name of the doctor booking logo timings phone number address fee per visit website now i will select the date i am going to select 28th june timings from uh i want to select from 10 so i have selected 28th june and 10 o'clock appointment so first we have to check the availability whether this doctor is available in this specific slot or not check availability i got message appointments available so now i can book now so after clicking i will be navigated to the appointments here you can see appointment booked successfully so this is the appointment id doctor name satya reddy phone number date and time status is pending because the appointment has not been approved by the doctor yet now i will log out and log in with satya credentials so after log in with satya credentials the expected scenario is satya has to receive a notification like your appointment has been booked from some user on some day so whether you have to accept or reject that appointment now i will log in with satya credentials 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 here you can see satya got the notification so if i click on this 
a new appointment has been made by john so john has booked the satya appointment so if satya want to see the appointment details he will click on this notification here you can see id of the appointment patient name is john phone is this date and time status is pending actions so we can approve the appointment and the doctor can also reject the appointment if he is busy at that time so john is uh, sorry satya is approving the john appointment approve so the status has been updated i will clear the notifications mark all as seen delete all now i will log out so doctor part is done so uh, john has booked the appointment doctor has approved the appointment again now john will receive the notification like your appointment has been confirmed now i will log in with the john credentials john 195 so please refresh to avoid all the cache issues so john 195@gmail.com 1234567 login here you can see john has got the notification your appointment status has been approved here you can see here also status got approved that's all so now john will clear the notification even delete now let's try to book the same appointment on the same date so now i am going to pick the same date 28 june and we have the time right 10 o'clock we have booked the previous appointment so i am selecting the same time and date check availability here you can see appointments not available if i select 10:30 also the appointments will be not available because one appointment given as 1 hour here you can see appointment not available if i pick 11:33 it will show appointments available here you can see appointments available so like this way we are going to restrict the duplicate appointments in the application so that's all guys this is about the monstock doctor appointment booking application project demo Thank you see you in the course